Hi, welcome to the Eco Heidi Show. I'm Heidi Borchers. Today's theme is Eco Flowers, making all kinds of different flowers from things that you'd normally throw away. It's all about recycle, reuse, repurpose, upcycle. I'm doing it all. Today's show, I am showing you how to make soda can flowers. Just simply cutting soda cans to flower shape. Super simple and look fabulous. Candace Jedowitz is joining me and she's making an eco flower bouquet featuring a wax and iridescent finish. I'm also showing my famous coffee cup rose. It's always a great one for giving as a gift or just making it to have it on your desk. And I'm transforming cardboard ribbon spools into cool flowers. I'll be right back. You know, with spring just right around the corner, you're probably planning on your outdoor spring garden. But how about thinking about doing an eco garden? Because flowers, no matter what, they always make you smile. And I think if you can make it eco-friendly, it's even better. Today, I'm going to start out with a great soda can flower. Now, this is my regular one that I use a lot with my jewelry that I sell. But I have a little bit different twist where I'm just gluing it together with a dry adhesive. You know, with all the colors of the soda cans that are out now, you can't go wrong with the colors for spring. Take a look. I'm using the Aline's Tacky Dot Singles today. They're easy to use, they're quick, that makes this project so fast to put together. We're using soda cans today all kinds of soda cans, different soda cans, they all have wonderful colors. And just simply use a craft knife to cut them apart. You just push it in, cut it all the way around, turn the other side. It is a little bit stronger here, so come in about a quarter of an inch and cut it off at, right at the end. And when you're done, it actually is like this, and then you cut it open and you have your material to work with. Now, I usually work from the color side because I want to know what color I'm going to use. Like, I don't always use all the color of it. I love right here on this one, this pink color. So I put my template, just a circle template, right over the color area. Use the stylus and just simply mark where you want your circle. And just use old scissors to cut it out. Don't use your very best ones. And I have found that as long as you do everything with a rounded edge on a soda can, it does not, it's not sharp. Everybody always asks me, well, isn't that sharp to wear or use? As long as all the edges, no matter what you do, are rounded, it is not sharp. Now I cut my patterns or my little templates out of cereal box and I just, this has an eight pointed flower. I put it down onto my piece and I simply mark it with my stylus. I have eight points, eight petals. Sometimes I need to know where the center is so I put a little dot. And then just again do the rounded edges, I'm going to do rounded point, uh, petals. And then turn it over and do the other side. Now that I've cut my flower shape, we want to emboss it. Take your stylus and go on the back 
on each petal. And also notice I'm working on a piece of craft foam. It really embosses really well on a piece of craft foam. Turn it over and just put a circle right there. And one of your petals is ready. Now we have several different sizes of petals that I've cut. I've done them all the same way. The last little center petal is actually a circle that I've cut in or fringed around the edge and that's going to be the very center. On the back of each piece I have put a Aline's tacky dot. I've removed the top layer and so now the tacky dot is there and I've removed the back layer. So I just start to build them. And you can see my flower starting to take shape. And on the very center, we're going to put one more. We're going to put a little bead in there and wrap that little center. I'm just taking my fingers, my, just my fingertips, and wrapping it around the bead. To make the leaf, I use my, one of my patterns. I put it down just like we did on the flower and just trace it with a stylus. I turn it over and press my stylus. And then I turn it on the other side to get my vein. And sometimes even if it's not cooperating where it's sticking up, then you just put some more uh, lines onto the front of the, and it'll shape up like you want it to. Let's take a look at the box. Here's my leaves and my um, flower. And then the sides, I took some squares, and I just cut them, and I used the Aline's Tacky Dot Singles underneath each one, and just put a mosaic on each side. Super simple, put it on the background. It makes it so easy to do and eco-friendly. If you're like me, you'll shop for the soda cans just by color. I often go into the grocery store and I look at all the different cans, not what's in them, but I look at the colors, I, I love to find pink ones, and I'll just buy them and I'll pour them out just to have the can. <laughs> now next, Candace is coming up with bouquets of flowers. Candace, what's up? Hi, Heidi. Hey, everybody. Welcome to my leaning studio. That's better. Hey, how come you guys are crooked today? Hey, you know how much I love coffee, and I save all of my paper coffee cups because I just know I'm going to do something with them and today I'm going to make a bouquet with them. This is a fun one. Hold on to your seats because here we go. Prepare your coffee cup to start to cut your flowers. You'll want to cut the rim off which I'm saving because I just know I'm going to need this for something. And then open it up down the side and tear out the bottom, which I'm also going to use. I'm going to lay it out on my flower die on my die cut machine. I'm going to go this way. the best I can. That looks good. I'm going to put the top tab on and run it through. Okay. 
Et voila, flowers, yay! Because of the tear, I cut part of this one off, so I'm just gonna get rid of it, but I do have plenty. And the other way you can cut some flowers is with a punch, and there's lots of extra room on these cups to be able to do that. Woo, there it went. Here's how I'm going to color them. I'm going to use the bottom of a cup and I'm going to choose a metallic powder. This is an orangey rust color. And I'm going to tap some into the bottom of the cup. I'm going to add some clear gel, Aline's Tacky Glue. Ooh half a teaspoon or so. And then I'm going to grab a Q-tip, mix it up. <laughs> cool. Here it goes. Oh, that's a gorgeous color. If it's just too darn thick, I'm going to thin it with a couple of drops of water, but I think this is going to be fine. Gorgeous. And occasionally you'll run across some extra waxed cardboard or the inside of the cup and it's a little different it's not bad when it separated the first time most of it was white so I hit it with a heat gun for a couple of seconds and then went back with a little more I think that's kind of a cool effect this is how you will put your flowers together you could use a bead or a button these pieces are polymer clay and they were left over from another project and this is wire from a uh, drop ceiling. So it's all good. It's all reused. The first thing you'll do is make a little loop and just a tiny spiral. And then you'll grab it and turn it like that and then you're going to slide your button on these were pieces that weren't foiled enough when I was making beads for something else and they were just so pretty I knew I wanted to keep them so I coated them with clear sealer So slide it on there. Okay, and that's how it's going to look in the center. Now that you have it on there, you can give your wire a little twist, and I'm using a needle tool to wrap it around. I'm not wrapping it tightly. I'm not wrapping it closely. This is just a a different way to look at a stem. And then you'll want to bend it like that so it will your flower will fit on there nicely. Slide it down in there. Center it. That looks good. And then you're going to apply hot glue to all three elements, the paper flower, the polymer clay bead, and the wire. You might have to hold it for a minute until it cools down, but now we need to find something to display our flowers in. I've decided to put my flowers in one of my studio coffee cups. This is one that I really love. It's a myolica technique on ceramic, and I've wrapped the bases of several flowers together. I did them according to height. 
these back ones are the tall ones, and these are the medium ones. And so I have these to go in the front. So you'll just gather up the flowers. You can make them at different levels if you want. Okay, grab them together and find one that you can twist. Let's go this way with it. Like that. And then get your pliers. And you could go even a little more so there's not any that are loose. And then simply spread them apart. And you can face the heads different ways. You can face up and forward and whatnot. And then slide them in. Well, that's going to be such a pretty decoration for my studio. <laughs> there, that's better. I hope you enjoyed the project. I hope that you're inspired to try something like it. And if you do, I hope you'll let me see it. Email me, Candice at CoolToCraft.com and I will post your stories and your high-resolution photos on our website. Thanks again for having me, Heidi. Back to you. Bye, everyone. Any eco flower is beautiful on its own, but in a bouquet, it's simply elegant. Candice, thank you so much. My next project is making a rose from a coffee cup. This is a fan favorite. Take a look. I'm using the Aleem's Super Thick Tacky Glue and a cardboard coffee cup. The Aleem Super Thick Tacky Glue will hold the project together, but I'm also going to use a little bit of hot glue for a quick hold. First thing we need to do is to smash down the coffee cup. So I, I squeeze in sometimes it works too if you just put it on the floor like when you were kids with soda cans just put it on the floor and smash it down with your foot. This way we just kind of Create it, push it down. And I want some of this to come out a little bit more, so we're going to open up a little bit. It's just a matter of readjusting it until it gets the way you want. It starts to look like a rose. See how it's starting to look like a flower. Now this one is, is holding its shape really good, but what I want to do is I want to put some glue inside so that it doesn't come apart when we go to um, paint it. So I'm going to put a little glue out on my area, take a toothpick, and wherever it's touching, I'm going to put a little glue. And then for a quick hold, we're going to use some hot glue, and that'll hold it down really quick. The hot glue is not going to hold it permanently because the hot glue is affected by heat and cold, so be sure you use the Aleem Super Thick to hold it together. Okay, there's our basic rose. Next, we're going to take a second cup, and we're going to create the bud that goes inside. We just need a little piece of this. And we're going to roll it. It 
shape it, and then I'm going to open it up and glue it. When you when you shape it and then you roll it and then I open it up again, I'm I'm really kind of conditioning the the uh, cup because sometimes they're kind of stiff. A little bit of hot glue in there for that quick hold. And then I just find the, the perfect place on the inside to put my bud. I think it looks like it's going to go right there. A little glue inside. And a little hot glue for a quick hold. And there is my rose. So put that side to set up a little bit. This one didn't get a, a butt in it, but I wanted to show you how to paint it. Now you're going to want to put a skewer stick into it. So put a hole into this, the bottom and stick your skewer stick and find an area that you can go over and then go up to the top. Put a little glue up the top. Like that. And now we're ready to paint. I'm just using regular acrylic paints. And just start to, a lot of paint because it takes a couple coats to cover some of these. And I mix my colors. I put a little bit of red, a little bit of pink. Get all the little crevices. And just completely cover it until you have this. Then the the hot sleeve that they put on that's um, out of the corrugated uh, paper, you just cut your leaves. Paint them green and then glue it on right like that. Here's the completed rose. As you can see, this is our center that we painted, the rose, and here's the leaves that we painted. Now I wanted to show you because if you give this as a gift, I always think it's fun to put a tag on it. So I take this tag, it's just one that I get from the um, office supply. I type out what I want to say, and this one says, Recycled into art coffee cup rose made from a paper coffee cup. And it's just a really sweet way to give a gift. Also, I always thought it was really cool if you would, if you taped on like a, a coffee gift card and give it to a friend, maybe a coworker. You never know where your artwork's going to turn up. After I came up with this project, I did a whole display for the local Starbucks and there were rave reviews. Everybody loved the, the artwork that I made. The same thing goes true with the next project. I looked at the cardboard ribbon bolts and I saw flowers. Take a look. I'm using the Aline Super Thick Tacky Glue again. You can tell it's one of my favorites because it holds really quickly. And these are the bolts that you get ribbon on. And nowadays they come where there's not very much ribbon on them. So I go through a lot for special occasions and holidays. I always have a lot of these around. 
So making this flower is just perfect. First thing you want to do is to take the, the bolt apart. So you're going to take, it's really easy, just take the cardboard off of each side. It makes it easier to cut it. And sometimes you need a craft knife to kind of help you out here. And then I just cut out a flower shape. Just cut out petals. And if you first go to the four points and then cut in between, it gives you an eight petal flower. And you can cut out any shape you want. You can cut lots of petals out. Now remember you're going to cut out both of your ends of each bolt just with the same flower petal for each flower. So there's our first flower petal. And I'm going to take a narrower one apart. See that one came apart a lot easier because I want to use this inside for my stem. So I just cut this, the actual spool or bolt and I spread it out and that's what I'm going to use for my stem on my art piece. So we're just going to take several colors here. And just paint. And again, some of them are going to need two coats or just Putting color on color is kind of cool because it gives you a shaded effect. And then I also cut, or I also put paint on this side because when you have it up in an art piece, you're going to see this part too. And see how I just, I dip my brush into different colors I don't just keep putting the same color on and that gives it a different effect and also kind of helps for coverage too. And I'm put a little bit, maybe a little bit of red on the tips. And then this glues back onto the top there. And then you can use all kinds of buttons. You can glue a button on top when it's dry. Kind of pushing the process here. Love my buttons. And again, glue them with the Aline's Super Thick Tacky Glue. It holds very quickly. And let's take a look at the finished piece. And you can see all the different shapes of flowers, all the different colors. Now what I did was my background was actually a tile background that I, I got a sample tile board from the tile store. It was a discontinued tile board. And I put some um, dimensional paint on it. I squeegeed it on. And then I just painted the background. 
and all the different flowers, the leaves are cut out of the bolt, and all the flowers, the different ones, you can make lots of uh, flowers for your garden. So if you're like me, I don't think you're ever going to throw away another cardboard ribbon bolt again. So let's review what was on today's show. First I showed you how to make the soda can flowers and a little bit of soda can mosaic using different color soda cans. And Candace Jedwitz showed us an eco flower bouquet featuring wax and iridescent finish. I also showed you my famous fan favorite coffee cup rose. And we ended today showing you how to recycle the cardboard ribbon bolts. I'd like to invite everyone to join us at facebook.com slash cool to craft. And be sure to visit us at cool to craft.com. And while you're there, sign up for our newsletter. It comes out twice a week. It has lots of ideas. There are tutorials and videos. And while you're there, also sign up for Almost Dailies because it's a behind the scenes look at my sister Tiffany and myself and my granddaughter Savannah Starr and what we do behind the scenes. Join me in Creative Recycling. See you next time. Bye-bye.